45 minutes left in the training session. Welcome back to the close. A busy afternoon. Lots of individual names still moving around. And to talk about, guys, we have uh, AMC on the move once again. Uh, unbelievable volume uh, to this point this afternoon. There's uh, There's been a few other movers. But overall, the market basically dead flat at this point. We've come back to a little more positivity since uh, we left. But uh, let's jump right into things. Yes, sir. And uh, let's jump right into it. This is literally, you're going to see the positions here. I mean, Sean and I are going to be trading uh, live into the close. we got about 45 minutes or less than that now. This is the fourth time this afternoon I've been short OEG. Uh, this time uh, is probably the last one. It just tested 650. I mean, it's been a top one, two, three, four, five, like six or seven times it's been testing uh, this high end of the range, up like 80%. So uh, it's kind of put up or shut up mode for this name. But uh, you got that AMC on, uh, Sean. There was that, what is his name, Mert? But you know, whatever. I mean, you saw the story. Mudrick. Yeah. Mudrick. Whatever, man. Mudrick, yeah, Mudrick. with, a, with a, the sale of all of his shares. Uh, that's put in a bit of a dump. I actually got in and scalped it a couple times off that dump. I uh, see so you're still holding on to some of those shares. AMC, I said when we left the morning show that it was uh, on pace to be less volume than before. But, of course, it's still going to break that 500 million mark easily. Yeah, I said we we're going to probably do 400. No, we're at, four, like you said, 440 uh, right now. Yeah, Mudrick Capital came out uh, and said, yeah, by the way, we're uh, going to dump all of our shares. And that was in, in and around here, around 1230, 1 o'clock, that they were out. So that's part of that capital raise there, Mudrick Capital. Uh, big time move to the downside. Obviously, we got a little filled uh, there on the way down. And then we were able to pick up some, you know, even better longs down right near here, right near VWAP. And, I mean, this is why you watch you know different levels and, and you don't just trade blind on a lot of these things you got to pick your poison and pick your spot so uh comes all the way back down and what a great long that is that's still what we have on so 3057 in the money a dollar we didn't get any out uh, i was just waiting to see if we were going to go high side but uh we will we will uh looking to pick some more up around 31 after after the show guys we have for you trade of the day and it's going to be neo and if you look here what we talked about on our board Neo, look what it says at the top. Longs look great. Top break, $40.25. Well, that was right here. We didn't get anything in on that. We waited for a pullback, then took this thing long, and it's just been ripping all day. So, again, man, congratulations to anybody with Neo position to the long side. You win today. And uh, there were multiple scalps to the short side on OEG. Someone was just asking about it. I'm like, yeah, that was one time, two, three. The fourth time I actually took more shares because uh, why would you? Why wouldn't you take more the same time? I mean, whatever. It's obviously a dumb idea to do that. I just reverse into the lawn because if you can't beat them, join them. Anytime you see, it's not even a triple top. I don't even know what to call it. Uh, five or six times. Uh, here's a word for it. I'll come up with it in a little bit here. But it's a bit of a reversal. I just sort of scalped some out here at 660 in front of 666. Uh, on OEG. It's still up 85%, but looks like it might be trying to pull back in. Want to make sure we bank a little bit of profit. Uh, I, was, I like those dip plays on AMC, and I'm likely going to come in anytime there are these harsh candles. There have been some good opportunities to pick it up. I did play it a couple of times. Uh, I played it here at 3150 or 3130. I think the next time we're probably looking at VWAP or maybe deeper into that 30 range. Uh, as much as uh, uh, AMC is holding above VWAP, BlackBerry, on the other hand, doing something different. It broke the high. I shorted it one more time off the top. It broke that top. Waited for it to turn. The turn now is at 11.60. I shorted this move at 11.50, so you'll see that position in. 47s is what I have. I scalped a little bit off, looking to see if this will flush back into VWAP. Play this to the south side, BlackBerry, because, you know, AMC feels a stronger one to me. Brendo? Uh, CNR, guys. I was just double-checking. Yeah, that's this uh, Cornerstone Building Brands Incorporated otherwise known as Canadian National Railway, if you're trading here in Toronto. But uh, I'm speaking of this one, CNR in New York, up 5% today. They came out at uh, 10 o'clock right here with uh, forward-looking guidance for the remainder of this year that was much better than expected. This actually happened up here initially this morning, that wick to the upside. But uh, volume at day highs here, guys. We're back above 1750 for Cornerstone. They can't be taking good Canadian symbol names like that. You can't. You can't do that. Cool. They shouldn't be able to do that. But it's Canada, uh, baby. You can't. CNRs should be dual listed. I don't know. They must. It must be on the NYSC too. I just right? don't know the name. Um, okay, so 14. We're looking at Ford right now. Looks like Ford wants to go. They had that low of 1450 today. That would have been fantastic in sort of that uh, opening little chaos there, where the market kind of dipped down, and now we're 
Oh, I was going to say now we're positive, but we're positive on the ES and barely on the NASDAQ and barely on the ES as well. Uh, but here we go, 1480. So I like this level on Ford. We know we can drop this down to a three-minute chart, uh, something like that, and then just see that we topped out here 1475 earlier, basically in the pre-market, and now we're back to the highs again. So, oh yeah, look, all of our trades are still there uh, from the last couple of days. So what? Uh, there's Ford, guys, looking for this trade here. 1480 stopping there stopping here and then look we've loved this level before so uh, let's see if 1480 can hold and then we'll go long through four I think it's a high of the day right 1481 yeah so let's see a 1482 print uh, and then we'll go and then on AMC I'm holding something pretty small we've talked about that already uh, lots of trades today uh, lots of trades the last couple of days on AMC but uh, still waiting for this 33 level we were really lucky to get involved here not lucky but we talked about getting long uh, into this area and then getting out when, when we came up here. So we still do have some res uh, resistance on the upside here around 32.50 or so for AMC. So let's just watch out for that. Uh, that's the only trade right now. We're looking for Ford, uh, maybe a pullback in Neo, but uh, I got to do a little more work on that one. Yeah, I'm going to go with arrows to the upside. Like I said, if you can't beat them, join them. That OEG just pressed to 696. Uh, I got out when it got to like 94s here. Uh, I think you got, got out here in those 90s, guys. I mean, I'm gonna, not going to look that gift horse in the mouth. You know, it doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense to do that. Got to be flat by the end of the day. We'll play the momentum, no problems. But, you know, you're getting up into this level here on the daily, uh, which the 720, 720 area, you go back into March. You can also pull all the way back on OEG uh, in here into January where it dipped into this price. So I feel like the, when stocks have memory and we get close to that level, there could be a bit of a turn. And at some point, I'm likely to want to short this one again. So uh, I am now out of OEG looking for a potential push that gets me to that 725 level and then from there it should be potentially uh, all systems go for a short trade I mean Blackberry is kind of frustrating because uh, as much as it's you know barcode I mean it's it's consolidating off a lower high which is I guess a solid move if it presses into 60s maybe I'll take a few more shares off that high of the day but if it doesn't move you got to get out of it and I'm still looking to, for AMC to make a push through 3120 if it does that i think you get one of those extreme candles that we can hopefully buy into and that would be in front of 30 even with any luck neo 4225 okay so we we're in our blackberry so we'll go uh, alert 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 we'll hope the bulls uh can come back and kick and our first stop is going to be 85 guys so we're going to wait to see uh, there's really nothing to go on just the fact that it's a you know nice round number so we're long now at 81 and uh it actually printed 82s we got 81s on that so that was a good a good move there so we'll say uh, watch out now for 85, the first step here on, on uh, Ford. And then we'll just, we'll just wait. Uh, MVIS kind of going crazy as well right oh, now. Yeah. Um, oops, oops, uh, NQ, there it is. We already touched up. So this is the thing about MVIS. We already made a crazy run at 130 from 16 all the way to 1840. We made that same move again, base, I mean, not the same move, but we stopped at 18. 25, 18, 40. If you're going to build some shorts in MVIS, it's probably it right here. Uh, some nice tops. We failed once, failed twice. Let's look at a daily chart if I can. It's a good level. Yeah, it's, is it? Okay, yeah, because my chart's not loading. Well, so, it's okay. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, shoot. Mine's yeah, okay, yeah. So we've been up here. Oh, there it is. We've been up here a couple times. 19, basically, is a good level. This also a good level, what, what Neil's yelling about uh, over there, too. So 1854, uh, a good little short opportunity right now in MVIS if you do like it. But uh, right now, I'm just watching this scream a little bit here. If we can, that is going to be AMC. A nice little move back to the high side. Let's see if we get 3240s, man. This is where we want to get out, and we'll just hit the $2 uh, and get out of this one. So 3240, 32, maybe here. Maybe 3220. Let's, let, let's go right in the middle here. We can get a 3220, something like that. Uh, we'll offer that out. Still a while away, though, Brendo. Uh, just saw some of the NFTs popping up here as well. I was just going to double check real quick. Yeah, uh, this uh, Takang Art, TKAT, is actually halted right now, news pending. So if you flip over to YVR, uh, just caught a bid, some volume coming in, guys, to Liquid Media. But TKAT actually halted right now. I mean, it's the halt that's gonna that's gonna be interesting to me. Now, if it's news, you said it was news pending though, though, Brennan. So I mean, uh, you don't know when it's gonna open back up. But it did a big, nice big move into 18. Even one thing to watch. Uh, if my daily wants to load, nah, it's going to be a little bit uh, finicky there. Uh, if it does press, you, there is like a 19 level going into last week that I think is going to be at least a little bit interesting. So we'll watch that one. Uh, Blackberry, we just said if it, if it pressed up towards that high, uh, we take another crack at it. 
crack. Why not? Crack uh, we, took, we, we took a shot. Uh, it just came right at the 60s. It tapped it. We got 59s, waited for that. Look, if it breaks the top, I mean, I'll do the same thing on OEG, where the reversal long worked, so we'll go with the same uh, plan of action. If the momentum wants to be upside, fair enough, but I just averaged into the short in the short trade. We got 54s as the price. I'll throw some bids down here. Get some out in front of that 40. Get some out in, in, in those 30s as well, because, hey, got to be flat by the end of the day. So got to make sure we're scalping at least some of this profit. Speaking of that OEG, come right back to you over here. It looks like it's rolling over. Now, I, I just finished saying that I wanted it to press the seven bucks uh, before getting into or before taking a bit of a short trade. So I'll stay away from this one, at least for now. But I do think there's a decent opportunity uh, at some point for a bit of a reversal here. And there has been support. Uh, if you want to go below this six level, around that 575, 580, I mean, the harsh dips have been bought, which is what I want to happen in AMC, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers. We've seen absolutely no indication just yet that it wants to go. I saw a couple of people when we were coming on here uh, initially talking about NVIDIA uh, possibly reversing. Now, it's been a strong move all afternoon for NVIDIA. I mean, forget about this wick. You couldn't get 620, great price if you could. Uh, but we're consolidating essentially right around this 650 where we closed uh, to end last week, or just, sorry, just above that 650 where we closed into last week, and then the top end of this range is a 655. So it did reject the pre-market high, and the market is barely positive here. So, I mean, there is something to that. I mean, if, if, if NVIDIA here were to roll through this, like, 652-ish low, decent chance you could have a couple of bucks uh, in, in tow for you guys there. Did I just get? No, I did not get yet the BlackBerry fill. So it is starting to come back in. I'm just on the bid here on the other side of 1150. So we'll go ahead and take 5, 10, then 15 pennies. See if it can't get back down into VWAP. Again, if it breaks that 1160 top, 61 top, I should say, I'm reversing short into the long. Yep. Uh, okay. So guys, I just want to give you guys an update here. So Coinbase Pro now uh, will start accepting Dogecoin immediately. So that'll go from Coinbase Pro. They did this with Cardano. Coinbase Pro over to Coinbase eventually. So depending on what account you have, um, you can have both. Uh, that, that's no problem. But thank you for all the retweets and the likes. This was not even too long ago. And then you look up here. Whoop. Uh, and there it is. So here's Dogecoin. So basically when that announcement was made, I thought there would have been more of a reaction than this. I mean, it just went it's from expected. 32 to 34. I mean, that's like 8%. Like, you know, you could sneeze uh, and get that reaction. So I don't know. I don't know what this means for Dogecoin other than now available. Uh, it says immediately uh, available on your Coinbase Pro account. That used to blast these things off. But anyways, thank you for the likes. Thank you for the retweets. I'll put this up uh, in the chat. You guys can follow along. What up, Beep? All right, we were talking about some of the uh, Chinese tech companies with uh, big days today. Uh, it's actually Pinduoduo, Duo, guys. PDD leading right now. 12.6% uh, here. It failed, though, at 141 there. Some volume came in on the sell side. But, yeah, PDD up almost 13% on the day. Wowzers. Uh, we were looking at JD uh, this morning, and that was certainly going to be an interesting one. JD.com, that is, uh, by the way. And we were looking at that one. Now, it, get, it didn't really give the dip buy. I mean, I wanted 75s. Uh, it wouldn't be the first stock. It was a couple this morning uh, when AMC was going nuts. We had some good trades on, on, on that, and we had some good trades on BlackBerry as well. But uh, these little dips in here would have been fantastic. But you're getting a big-time push up. Double top right now, which is what I see in, in JD. Now, I do prefer, if I'm going to play the rollover, I already said, with the market trying to come back in, you know, NVIDIA getting a little bit closer uh, towards, creeping towards this 652-ish area. Now, if you look to this bottom, it's technically 651.80. So I'll probably move, put a stop uh, down around that three quarters, so like 651.75. I'll take that one. And again, this is pure momentum that we're playing here. Uh, this is nothing again. I mean, I love AMC. Sorry, I love I love Nvidia AMC. I love Nvidia. I just think the reversal here gives you a couple of bucks worth it to the downside. So I'll go with 651.75 instead of just a straight 652. Yeah. So the only trade we put on uh, for you guys so far was Ford. And uh, it's not doing well. So uh, forward there, we got out some at 80 or some at 79 or 80 there uh, afterwards. Yeah, there it is, 79. So, uh, you know, long 81s off that high break and then out some 79, out a quarter at 79. Now we'll wait for some downside moves. I have a dentist appointment tonight at 5 p.m. Ooh. So, yeah, I know Neil doesn't like dentists. I actually don't I mind hate the dentist. dentist. I'm trying to get my kids to like the dentist. So they, they like the dentist. Um, and uh, I'm going to just uh, put on a brave face and go there. No cavities, nothing like that. But uh, 
dentist coming tonight. So uh, we'll wait for that. Okay, Ford, um, yeah, I, I'm still giving you to the, that same bottom. A little break right here. Uh, we got out a piece here. We'll average in another piece. The same piece we got out, we'll try it again, like 73-ish at once we break 75. We'll hopefully get a 74, then a 73 flush, and then we'll go back to the upside. So that's what we're waiting for. And then just to check back on AMC. Look, we break down below this 31 level, man. We got to think about getting out. So I don't need this to get to VWAP and then crack. So breaking down below 31, we'll get out. I mean, even we could even be even a little more prudent and get out like uh, on this break, man, 31.18, something like that. Uh, it's just hovering around, but that's going to be that break. And then from an upside move too, I still like it upside here. I, I don't think AMC's done uh, with the move. So we can still break through 32.25, but I don't like it in here, man. Too, too wishy-washy right now. This is not a my AMC cup of tea. I would rather play the breaks. I mean, if you could see when we got involved, Right, it was basically in the pre-market. That's a no-brainer. Uh, then we break 31.75. That was a good one. We wait for it to fall down, pick up the bids. Wait for it to fall, pick up the bids. Same thing here. Uh, this one we were chasing got got hit on the way down. Thank God I was able to pick up more bids, and this stopped falling. I think that saved a lot of us there, uh, right at VWAP. And then so now here it comes again. So uh, we're just gonna get out if it breaks through 31, and then we'll regroup. But if if it does tank into this area again, we think we got to get long into the 29s. Uh, I'm with you there, and I'll go with uh, the flush uh, on on uh, BlackBerry, and it's gonna give me that move uh, where I'm able to take some out on the south side of 50s. It popped up to the high of the day, got some more shares to the short side. I got my bids in, so if AMC falls, I think I'll take advantage of a uh, BlackBerry potentially coming coming in suit. Uh, and uh, Brandon, we're gonna go to you in a second. Just got Nvidia, that 651.75 did break uh, to the downside. So short Nvidia. Uh, new position alert. Brenda, what's up, bud? Uh, okay, so I was just reading about this uh, TKAT, still halted, guys, a heads up, but uh, it looks like they're going to, or through an investment with another company, invest in quote-unquote cultural objects. So they're, in, they're doing a deal with uh, another company that uh, it looks like cultural objects may be the target or the, the actual subject of this news pending. So remember, this is uh, an NFT play, but uh, no, no signs yet of any kind of reopening yet for TKAT, you guys. Yeah, okay. I mean, TKAT, I, I halted since about 3 o'clock or so, no sign. We won't be in, involved too, too much uh, in TKAT. Obviously, needs to reopen before we get serious with it. Uh, AMC just falls down, so we'll complete it, man. I mean, it's been a money kind of day for us on AMC. Uh, we'll get out right there. Now we'll wait to see where it falls to. Only a half hour left in the market. I mean, was this the final push today? I, I mean... To, to say that we know where this is going the next couple of days, I think is just a lottery. So if you guys are in this still, uh, congratulations. It's been a, a monster, monster move uh, upside, and everyone knows that. So just be very, very careful here. Obviously, it's a very, very liquid name, so I don't expect this thing to be down huge tomorrow, but uh, just watch out here with AMC. You still have this 29 level that we'll look to defend, and then it didn't look like we picked up any Ford. Now we didn't. We missed it. It only goes down to 75 there, so we were thinking of a 75 crack. That doesn't happen. We will pick up more if it does come through, though. Uh, right now, yeah, BlackBerry down, that AHT moving. Man, there's a lot of these randos moving today, guys. There's definitely a, a bunch of randos uh, <laughs> moving. That just made me think of Archer. What a great show that is. Um, NVIDIA, able to take some out here. Almost just hit a crazy key there. Uh, almost able to take some out there on the break. It immediately goes down like 50, 60 cents. Maybe that's the first stall was right in front of like 651. So I do take some off. And then look, it did have this push through like 649. So sort of targeting that area to get the rest of these out. We're getting, you know, 15 minutes away from the imbalances. This would be a type of trade that I don't necessarily want to hold past the 350. BlackBerry, I might not care as much, but, you know, on the other corner of my eye, it's just, you know, AMC off VWAP here. I was hoping this candle would be a little bit more harsh because uh, the way that this has been trading, like the deeper that push down, you get some real acceleration in one shot on like a three minute here, and then, you know, get down into that 30 level or 30 20s, 30 50s, or something in that range where you could pick it up. Jumping in front of VWAP just feels like it's asking to break this, so you get long in front, and then it's just gonna break 30 80. So you might as well wait for that to happen to see if you can't catch a bit of a bid that way. So just the two shorts that I have on, OEG, I saw you, Sterling. You thought it was uh, possibly the high. I mean, I was looking at waiting 720s, um, but it is, you know, you know, a couple of tests here at 7 even. It does give you that chance. I mean, you can essentially be taking like 80s to 85s here and throw a 7 stop. 
I, I just hate the fact that you know the disciplined play would be to have a seven stop, and then that seven twenty on the daily daily chart looks a little better. I think the fail break through seven, and then a, a retracement that stops some people out that have the long could be a bit of a better play here. But that's splitting hairs. I got my two shorts on, so I don't really know that I want to dig into uh, OEG. And my last trade was to that long side. I do want to come back over, if I can, very quickly. We we're talking about one name this morning. And uh, I promised myself I would revisit it. I said it would be one to watch, um, but not what I was expecting to happen, right? So when Roblox rolled over, I took a long trade through the top. I pulled back, got the average in, and then had the tight stop on it. It came all the way back into 93s. At that point, I think I thought I was going to get a little bit of a base uh, to make a long. Nope, never happened. Pops right to the high of the day, 98s, and then right back into VWAP. Watch out, because, you know, this 97, it's tried a couple times to get back through 97 here. Could make another run at this high if it breaks the 97. Roblox, incredibly strong. And uh, st to start this week, because, of course, yesterday was a holiday, it looks like more of the same. That 100 break feels inevitable. And that's a break that I got to have. It's morning show, it's afternoon, I don't care. When Roblox breaks 100, we're going to have that one to the long side. Yeah, I mean, you have to. Got that to. Roblox is nuts. I can't believe that stock, actually, and how that's been trading uh, recently. So Roblox uh, on, on watch, for sure, uh, for many of us. Uh, there it comes right back in, so we're going to give up about 20 cents there as AMC continues to make moves higher. So, okay, uh, we'll just wait to see where it goes from here. But AMC, a nice little move to the downside right now. We tried a little bit of crypto there. It didn't work. Uh, Dogecoin checked back in as well. Still... I'm very, very surprised at how muted this is. I really thought there would be a much bigger rally. I mean, we've been expecting, uh, you know, Dogecoin to go over to Coinbase, bro. I don't hold any Dogecoin, so uh, it's, not, it's not about that. Uh, nice base, though, like 27, 28. That's the one thing, like, considering that this coin really was bred from nothing, um, you know, and, and that's the point of it. Really surprised where we're holding up here uh, on this. So let's see if this can test out. I mean, I think this is a good break. Level 38, if it goes. I just thought there'd be more action on this. So uh, that tweet, although a good one from Coinbase Pro, doesn't seem to be affecting uh, Captain Doge there. What's up, Brando? A uh, little biotech. Uh, a few people talking about this Anovis and BS. Uh, some positive Alzheimer's-related uh, data came out uh, a few hours ago. Uh, just heads up on this, though. Very tiny very tiny 5.49 million free float on this one it is a uh, small cap but 21 percent guys just making day highs 355 there for a n b s yeah we so saw that one a couple weeks ago it's crazy <laughs> last week i think it was yeah i mean like uh, i'm joking like we, anytime you get something like that which has that tiny of a float and we and we of course also have the time constraint of having to be flat by the end of the day it does get a little bit dicey because you start thinking about okay well how much can you hold uh give something against you here and you get a parabolic mover like this i'd be far more inclined to monitor a stock like this going into the close after missing out on obviously those moves uh before thinking about something uh, here today now if it was up around like a fail point like 70s yeah you might take a shot here uh, at this level but uh, this will be one for sure to watch tomorrow um, you just be very, very careful. The stock is likely to halt multiple times uh, if it's this active in the morning, guys. NVIDIA, I don't know if I'm looking a gift horse in the mouth, which I always say not to do. Uh, but this 650, uh, now a couple, you don't want a daily chart. What am I looking at that for? Oh, because this froze, that's why. Come on, NVIDIA, there we go. Uh, 650 is now held a couple of times on my three minute here. Uh, if, it like, if it bursts through, I got my bid on the, on the south side, trying to take an extra, extra dollar out of this move. I mean, it is a buck 50 in the money, and it's gone there a couple of times. Um, and I don't want this one past that 350 time of day, so I still want to give it a chance to roll over. I want to shout out, and I apologize because I wasn't even watching this stock, thinking about a reversal play, and there was someone in the chat, and, and apologies for not catching the name there because it happens, and you guys went through too fast and said, hey, look at NVIDIA off the high. And immediately, just like, oh, yeah, look at that high of the day. Look at it start to roll over. That's a great-looking setup uh, for a bit of a pullback trade, especially given that it closed at 650, essentially, uh, on Friday. Brendan? Uh, I just saw this uh, SoFi making day highs here. Wow, it had a nice day. 10.5%, uh, above 22, I guess it was. Some volume came in there for SoFi. Apparently, the CEO, uh, Anthony Noto, is on a CNBC podcast right now. Uh, talking about the debut for SoFi, guys. So heads up if you're trading that one. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we were looking for 1950 longs uh, on SoFi, but uh, they're gone and uh, they're public now. So we always knew it was going to be IPOE, but there it is. Congratulations to all SoFi. Uh, and speaking from one, you know, possible IPO, not possible, but a SPAC turnover to 
something tomorrow bark box comes so stic thank you barry this is what this is from barry uh there on the chat so thank you so much as i look for you and can't find you uh but bark box so you know you've seen it it's got beat down it did have a nice little bump remember what i said anything off ten dollars seems to be right so uh i wish i would have waited for ten dollars we're still stuck long in here 12 13 so we're hoping that it's going to be a good debut for bark box tomorrow but it's not going to be so don't worry uh and and the reason why is like just look at chewy it just it's not it's a good environment don't oops I need the daily chart it's a good environment for all these names but not great uh, you can see here a lot of the steam uh, out of some of these names we're trying to find to see if volumes down now nah, volumes actually kept up pretty good uh, this is you know we really got excited about STIC uh, earlier on you know when Chewy was making highs it was the you know talk of the town everybody's got a dog apparently nowadays so uh, you know BarkBox again one of those delivery systems don't know if they're going to be any good subscription that's why I like it but look at Chewy man it's been a tough environment but they've bounced back another name you could look up for this as well woof uh i guess that's on the nasdaq let's go back and forth with names here uh and this is still stuck as well uh near i near ipos once this loads up you'll see it but anyways it, it's not none of these are super exciting man woof see like ah there, forget about it but woof or chewy basically all around the same so we're gonna wait to see what happens to stic not super excited i do like bark um Pay safe a little bit better than both of these ones. There you go, and you got to pick. I mean, you got to pick and choose with some of these uh, recent spats. I mean, the IPO uh, game has been interesting. Roblox, like we said, uh, has been gangbusters. I'm going to keep with this Gates of Hell theme for for BlackBerry here. I know it's up 13, percent so it's clearly uh, yay to all the people that are long it. Uh, you've done a fantastic uh, job in the last few sessions. Uh, it's holding this 11. I mean, it's 11:30 game. We'll call it 11:40 over and over again. So I do take a few more shares off as we're getting close to the end of the day here. Uh, and look, we're fortunate enough that this, like this was getting 50 nines which is you know you get a little bit lucky uh it bounced off of like 60 just hung just long enough off that high to be able to get like a short at 59 there it didn't last very long uh but you can't throw away any prop profit like that and then nvidia here it's kind of it's put up or shut up time for that short because again we're bouncing off 650 and we're sitting there we go we don't actually flip over thank you very much group link uh so this 650 level it's bouncing off of it and this time li like literally at 650 uh if it can't go and i mean go like press through 650 give a bit of a push a little further down like run some stops and give me like you know anywhere from 48 high to like 49 low uh, can't give me that kind of a fill i'll probably take this off on the other side of this for like a dollar winner because bouncing off an even number holding positive on the session pretty much exactly you know, it gives it too much of a shot to make a run going into 350 and those imbalances coming out. So it's testing it. I mean, it just hit again and again and again at this iceberg order at 650. So if it does break, I like my chances, but a bounce from here and I'll walk away with the buck. Uh, and, and be happy to take it because a lot of strength coming in NVIDIA at 650, which is great if you're a shareholder, which I am. I just kind of wish the day trade would go a little better. Pullbacks are healthy when you're holding long term. Yeah, we bought, I mean, we bought NVIDIA 604 in, into a negative print. So, hey, uh, we did pretty good there. I don't know why I'm still on Wolf. Uh, we want to look at Neo right now uh, for the high side trade. Looks like it's pulling off that 40. Let's go. Uh, I thought we were pulling off that 4250 area uh, right near. So it's 4240 is the high of the day. Uh, a good opportunity to break this right here. Look at the NASDAQ starting to go negative. We'll see what NEO can do. It'll probably be up again tomorrow, but that was a good day for it, man. Up that nine plus percent. Let's see if it breaks through 42. We like that short through 42. And then you can give it a little bit of room right now. I think it's almost worth building right now, actually, uh, just so we can get a little bit of a winner on board here. So let's look at uh, NIO to start, uh, uh, just a starter position here uh, at 12. If, and there it goes, it's filled right away. Uh, so we'll take some 12s. We'll give it a little bit more room up here, 28, 20. Nines, see if we can't get some short and then just hold it into the close normally i don't do this I, we you know we don't go long or uh you know against the trend but for today on neo i just think this is a little bit overextended i mean we've talked about the kind of v-shape recovery and join us after man i, I don't, th don't think we have a graphic but it's going to be the trade of the day we're going to be talking about neo what we saw early when we were trading oh that's the daily chart what we saw early when we were trading this name uh and then obviously why <laughs> we let it go all the way to the upside here and didn't hold it so this is a three minute chart we're going to wait for neo right now I like it, but uh, again, it's this whole V-shape recovery. A little bit too fast, in my opinion. We touched almost 43.50 right there, so almost top to bottom, back to April 27th. So uh, good little trade if anyone took a long, but I think it might be overextended right now, NIO. So let's hold the short and see what happens. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go with uh, this action. We got out of that NVIDIA, it held that 650, so when you have an iceberg like that, uh, you gotta take your profit and run, which I just uh, went ahead and did. OEG breaks through the high, and there was nothing in sight in that quarter mark, that 720, 725. I can tell you there was, I mean, someone tried to sell some shares there at like 19, 18, 19. Absolutely nothing doing, it's powering to the upside. You know, at this point, I'll look for like a 750, I mean, like a round number. Obviously, I, I got away from taking the break. I mean, we reversed into it when it broke 650. Uh, didn't take it at seven, because I thought there was that level, well, I mean, there was that level in the daily, that 720 area, and so I didn't like going long into it, but congratulations to anyone that has it. I'm looking, it will, 15 minutes to go, so it's probably just enough time that if there's any slowdown in front of 50s, it's not a horrible level uh, to take a shot at, but I want to make sure that there is some selling uh, in that price. I and mean, I saw a couple of uh, a couple of orders here at 750 that I can, or in front of 750 that I can show you, but not exactly a tremendous amount of uh, shares stepping in front. Most of this is happening on the dark, just so you guys know. Uh, but either way, I want to get it close to 50 as possible. Tested 44 once. Not sure that's enough to jump me into the shares. BlackBerry still holds at 1140. Uh, so it looks like that one might be a small win instead of a bigger. Okay, I see everyone talking uh, about Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. So let's have a look. Mm -hmm. So you already know the plan on Neo, man. It's the same as always. We'll wait to see uh, if it takes out that high. We'll average into it, and then it won't be a big position, but you know, one that we, we hopefully we like, and we'll see what's happening. But everyone's saying Tesla, Tesla, Tesla. A nice move down here today. It's down 0.5, which does no surprise. The Nasdaq is down. The ES just turned red as well. So um, you know, this stock coming down is is really not a surprise. This is a three-minute chart here. Uh, you're just, I, I guess it's because you're, you're getting close to that 620 level that, you know, happened on Friday, right here, 620. We've already broken that, so 622 was the level, and then you slide it down to the 620 top. So we're right in here, we're right at this level. I, I mean, I think that if you're looking to buy, you could actually wait. What time is that? It's 346. Oh, we're getting on uh, in time now. I was going to say you might want to wait until this area of the high teens, but, I mean, we're basically there right now. Tesla, nice little dump there off the NASDAQ dump, so now we'll wait to see what happens, but that was a good move for Tesla. I don't think it's too crazy. The daily range uh, on this stock has been actually pretty calm. Uh, it, it's trying to do that same Neo V uh, shape recovery, but we got to get above the 50 period if that's going to happen. So I, I think a better short right now appears to be Tesla than Neo, but uh, you know, again, Neo recovered well. Tesla is still having a hard time right now, and it's just going to try to follow the NASDAQ. So just watch out. I'm not going to trade this now. I don't really have any key levels. But if you did get down into those teens, like we talked about from, from Friday, right in here, I guess it's Thursday, uh, 618, 619, you definitely have some resistance. Then if it breaks your back, uh, I mean, I would just wait for 615. So to me, you got to have at least a 6 or $7 window here if you're going to trade Tesla. What's oh, up, Brandon? Wow. All right, uh, just over 10 minutes ago here, guys, as Sean mentioned, make sure you stick around right to the end of the show. At uh, 4 o'clock, we're going to have a trade review. You don't have to do anything. Uh, you'll just get shifted over into that trade review right at 4. So uh, don't go anywhere. Let's have a look at what's coming up after market tonight and before the open tomorrow for earnings, guys, that Lizzie is on there. Lizzie, Lizzie, we it, uh, Zoom as well, under a little bit of pressure, uh, it was at least this morning. Uh, so you're getting towards the end of the major earnings going to be coming through, I think, Zoom, with the recovery, I mean, with the reopen play sort of in full effect. Uh, could have some trouble holding some key levels there. Uh, I just want to quickly note that TKAT uh, reopened and then instantly halted. Uh, so it got up to like $21 and then uh, another volatility halt. It, it, at this time of session, you have to watch out because sometimes they don't open until uh, at 4 o'clock when you get a halt this late. So not a lot of liquidity and to the upside once again. Yeah, I see everyone saying, holy crap, TKAT. Yeah, yeah, we see all you guys uh, there. So I just want to talk, yeah, Zoom right now. So right now, Neo, uh, we just averaged in there. So uh, three-minute chart, uh, average, average, average. We're getting close to popping this one off. Uh, but as you can see, though, this is our... We'll average one more time. It's going to it's gonna get close to about 35s. Uh, we'll average into this one. But again, this will be, it looks like it'll be a loser as the market just going upside. I don't normally do that. We only have two minutes now until the imbalances. So ugh, we'll see if it can go to the downside comes Neo, but it doesn't look like it wants to. Uh, straight up, man, congratulations. What a big move for NIO today. Wowzers uh, for that one. And it's not going to be a big loser. We're just trying to go short into the high of the day. So we're going to give it till 50. Here we go. I told you this is the last spot. Where's my fill? What? 
we didn't even get it. So, uh, yeah, if, if we get that fill at 35, you'll see it come in. We didn't get it there, so uh, it probably comes in in a minute. If that's the top and I don't get that 35, that's really going to piss me off. But there's no way I think that that's going to be the top there, so we'll wait to see. Whoa, hello, PaySafe. Uh, PSFE, okay, now I don't really care too much about this, Neo, as PaySafe, a nice move up today, five and a bit percent. To me, this is the undercover uh, trade now, man. I mean, I like PaySafe. We'll see. It made that bottom at 10 again. I, you know, again, online gambling, everything, Skrillex, um, Net Teller, they have a bunch of different things uh, to look at as far as PaySafe gets in. I like it. We'll see where it goes. All of, a, whoop, all of a sudden, volume. I guess that's just off the open. I don't know what that big candle was. That might have been an 11.05 bottom there, uh, unless it was, you know, cracked through 11, but a nice little retracement back up. I definitely like PaySafe, guys. So uh, if there's one name that I'd be all over, it's this one in RDM. So PaySafe, if you like it, you like PayPal, you like those kind of names, I think PaySafe is a little undercover. There you go. And, uh, ooh, with your seconds to go into the imbalances, I mean, I have that OEG. I don't think it matters here uh, too much, but BlackBerry, uh, I'm not going to average into this one again. Uh, OEG, it did reverse, and we got to 44. As I talked about that 50 level, it just couldn't break any higher, so it got the consolidation off of 30s. I got a couple of entries, 31, 33. I just got some out there in front of 20s. I got a bit in front of 7 even, uh, but BlackBerry is the one that's going to be, you know, it is what it is. It looks like it can't really move too much. If this was 10 minutes ago, I probably would be taking more shares in the, in the low 50s here, but like I said, uh, whoever's buying at 1140 has managed to hold this one up uh, rather nicely. So that's a price I can file away on the old iPad uh, to make sure I come in tomorrow and identify that that 40 level had a little bit of a buyer there. If it breaks high of the day, I'm going to get out. No longer reversing into the long. It's too late in the day for me to want to take a breakout trade. So if we make a fresh high in BlackBerry, I'll be getting out when 61 breaks. The short is at 59, my last entry price. So OEG, BlackBerry, feeling like the last two uh, that will be involved in. I don't think that... I mean, it could be wrong, but I don't think we're going to get a reopen on TKAT. It'll be a final print at 4 o'clock, but unlikely to reopen. It looks like AMC, all it wanted to do was give you that VWAP dip. That was the only trade, uh, it looks like. So, unfortunately, waiting for that deeper push into 30 uh, is going to be a bit of a miss. But, hey, for all the bulls out there, you're closing above 31. Well, right now, it looks like we're closing above $31 on almost 500 million shares. Almost half a billion shares at these prices is uh, still... I mean, ridiculously impressive. And uh, I'll go back to NVIDIA. We, of course, got out of that trade. Looks like that was going to be a good out. It holds that 650. We showed you the iceberg buyer there. And then now right back into that 652 level. So sometimes if you see a strong stock and you're looking for that rollover, it tries to turn negative on the session and someone stepped up and said, no chance. Uh, you identify a level like that and just get out. Don't get greedy. Uh, just take your profit if you're a short-term trader. Well, we're day trading here. So needless to say, if you don't take anything off, you waste that entire breakdown. Yeah, okay, so we got, I don't know, we didn't get lucky or anything because the imbalances didn't come out really at all. I don't even, I mean, I'm not sure where NEO is on here, uh, but so nothing major on the imbalances, but we always say uh, that we'll talk about them with you. So we are short NEO at 26 right now. Average, 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 you talked about that 35. So uh, all of this combined gives us a short at 26. So uh, my first bid is at 26. So we'll see if we can't get out some for flat and then we'll see if a tank city happens. Otherwise, man, we'll get out here at the top 42.44, uh, 42.50, sorry. We're going to wait to see uh, if it goes. My four doing absolutely nothing. And super chat here. So, okay, I'm going to disagree, obviously, with this. Shorting easiest Zoom money. overnight, the easiest money in the market. I'm going to disagree. I don't think anything is easy, and, and let alone shorting Zoom. And let me just show you why. Uh, if you call up the Zoom chart here, so this is not, I don't know, like I think post-COVID, Zoom still exists. I mean, we, you know, we're using Google Meet and things like, is that what it's called? Uh, Google whatever they are. Uh, but, but, guys, uh, this is the thing. Like, Zoom is right at, this, this is why I don't think it's the easiest money, is Zoom's right at this level right here. If you break above this 360, I don't know, maybe, Brendan, if you have, I, well, you have Icon, but if you see the shortable uh, percentage on Zoom here, like, if you break, if, if Zoom breaks above this 340, let alone this 360, then guess what, man? Everybody's going to be in a hell of a lot of pain tomorrow. Mark my words on that. So if, you know, I, if you want to short, that's great. You could easily, I mean, it could be the same way, right? If they miss and they don't say anything nice, 
uh, about the future, which they may not, then I don't mind this. This is a good one here. But yeah, Brennan just with 3%, so his short's not going to be a problem. But watch out for this, man. This 360 breaks, I'm just telling you, like, we haven't traveled in here that much. Like, you could get up to four bills tomorrow. I mean, that's going to be a huge move. I don't think there's a 20% move there, but just I, I'm a little bit nervous about this 350 breaking on Zoom. So do as you wish with this one. I think it makes sense to short it. Um, you know, if you're going to talk like that, then it makes sense. You know, AMC's up. We, everyone talking about that being a rebuild and a reopen stock. So uh, let's just wait to see. But don't count Zoom out, man. Uh, you, you don't think that there's a lot of shareholders stuck long this thing and they're going to try to say something uh, there, like, you know, big activists, things like that. Just watch out, man. I, that's all. I just... I, I want to say that I love the super chat. Thank you so much for that. But I would just be careful about Zoom. That's all. There's also that. Look, this is the thing too. Like, I mean, look at the daily chart. I mean, you just talked about it, Sean, but I mean, there was a breakout off of 290. You go back into last year, but look at all the support down at these prices, the 290 and 300. Now, I was sort of saying, you know, it, it probably, look, like, given where it's come from, it probably wouldn't take much uh, to get it down through like that 320 level. But it comes to risk reward, right? Like, if it comes in here and does come to the downside for like a 290, I mean, when I said there'd be, there might be some weakness it was more talking about them selling it off into the afternoon to take risk off and even that hasn't been a ton so i mean it's risk to reward as sean mentioned that's the other part of it you're right into that support level with so much more room to the upside now obviously with some of the reopen names coming through okay decent chance that they could have some sellers coming into the end of the, coming into uh, the start of this month um but i think that's to say it's easy money is always a bit of a uh, an overstatement i would say um still somehow still in blackberry i can tell you right now that it's just it's almost fluke uh, because it's touch, it just again touched 1161. So one more time off the high of the day with only five minutes to go. I'm probably just getting out of this one manually. And I trimmed some OEG uh, for a couple of cents and now holding on to the last of my shares at 730. That one continued to break to the upside. I don't even want to give it to the high. Of the day. It's getting it out manually. Won't even let it break 750 on me here. Brendo? Uh, a little bit unexpected there. I was just watching this um, TKAT to see if it was going to be a 10 minute hold, but. Uh, I guess we still have a few seconds left. Anyways, uh, Logitech here, guys. L-O-G-I, kind of unexpected today, but L-O-G-I, 4% here. All the, uh, Day highs, first off, but this is also all-time highs. You can see volume coming in right at uh, day highs and all-time highs for L-O-G-I, guys. Is that Logitech, uh, a, did you say? Yeah. More oh, okay. of a Keytronic guy. Good, good, good name. Uh, yeah, so, okay, Logitech, a nice little move there. Looks like we will uh, lose. I mean, we only have four minutes left. Looks like we'll probably uh, bite the bullet. Or, no, sorry, we'll win. Where's my daily chart? This is my daily chart, so that's okay. We don't need that. We need my minute chart. Um, so, okay, so out there, back, so just a wash. And then we'll wait for 85. If 85 can come, we'll get out of our Ford and then make that four pennies there. Uh, and then, you know, just move on with it. We could take two right now. We may have to. If it doesn't go, Ford doesn't have the tendencies to make... Uh, Big moves here at the end of the day. There probably is some decent size even at 85. That's okay. We're on a free gateway. So hopefully we'll be able to, you know, capture that. And then the stock that's really, I mean, we'll just, I mean, we could take some out here. Uh, Neo right now. Okay, it's not bad. Man, our average price is 28. Like, it's not as bad as I thought now. Uh, it was 26. We took off a little, little bit. They're 10% right there. So now we'll wait to see if it comes down, man. We're bidding 26 is still. Maybe we get saved here on Neo and we can go two for two uh, on the close. Here comes Neo screaming to the downside um, we don't have many shares but only three minutes left let's see if they can come down and print us in these 20s guys let's go neo the third break on oeg and of course i mean we take the short we'll only make money on the short because we took a couple of legs out because and that was more due with time than anything else the long break at 750 another big move up and if i had just actually uh, taken every single one the open the show with the 650 the seven was good the 750 i mean it, it gives you like 20 cents or so before it reverses here but a strong strong close for OEG, I don't really have much of an option when it comes to BlackBerry. I mean, it, and again, I could sort of hang on to this and then punch out at the close of the day. I could put it into the auction. I really don't care about any of those things. I'm going to get on the bid here at, at 11:51 and just try to get just try to get flat here on BlackBerry. So we'll go whatever. It just, it just went down through as I was about to put the order in. Just took out the level there. And why did I not get filled? Because I hit the wrong key. That is me bidding 51s. I was literally just hitting the wrong key and hitting like a stupid dark pool. Anyways, uh, BlackBerry going to be flat at the end of the day. I think OEG is the interesting one to see if it can close on the highs. Uh, AMC is already proving its, its worth bouncing off of VWAP here. And then BlackBerry opening or closing near the high of the day as well. So strong, strong close for the memes. The market, of course, Sean, just turned red uh, and is holding, uh, holding so on the ES.
Yeah, we we're actually really, really super lucky there. We're going to finish the day uh, basically at our high right now. Uh, not basically, we are at our damn high right now. So, uh, yeah, hell yeah. I mean, can we get even luckier here uh, and get a, just a crazy, give me 22s, baby. Give me 22s. Uh, we're short 35 right here on you. Oh, my God. Bring it. Bring it. Bang! There it is for your only bang of the afternoon right there. Nice little trade. Thank you, Neo. Where's the bang button? Where's it? There it is. Let's go. Uh, I don't know why we waited for 22s, but hey, we get them, and now we just start doing one of these uh, money, for you guys money, because money, 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 we didn't leave money, any money, money on the table. There's absolutely nothing left on the table today other than, uh, got out. I mean, we always get out a little premature, but there's a win for you on Neo. We told you my average price was 26, so there we go. We'll finish that off with a 22 print. Big shares there uh, at the end on that 22 print, so really happy with that. The double out there at 82 on Ford, so... I mean, that's a 79, that's an 80. So, I mean, this is going to be washed out. That was only a quarter. That's 75%. So we're going to go two for two into the close. Thank you for joining us in the fastest 45 minutes on YouTube. Huh. We're getting tired, but join us, guys. In only 30 seconds or 40 seconds or 50 seconds, uh, when the bell rings, we are going to have our trade of the day. It's something new that we're doing. You guys loved it with Neil. I'll try my best uh, to do that as well. Oh, it's a good one. We'll I review thought. Neil. Yeah, we've already filmed it, guys, so it's going to be a good one. Watch it. We should be really happy. But, yes, super happy there uh, to close that off, guys. Bang for Neil. There you go, and it started and ended with uh, with with Neo because it was a good one for this morning as well. Uh, about to drop the countdown, uh, Miss V wore the green. She tried her hardest to get his green on the day, if, at least for the ES and the Nasdaq. But the countdown is on. TKAT likely to have one print and one print alone at 4 a.m. Stick around, of course, for that trade of the day. But here we go. Ring that bell, Miss V. Two and one. Tuesday is over. I almost said Monday. Tuesday's in the books, and now we'll just wait for Zoom. Uh, earnings, they'll come through. A couple other companies there uh, coming through as well. Thank you guys for joining us. Hydration Nation, stay lit, and we'll be back tomorrow. Brendan, how do we finish? Yeah, a little bit of a uh, mixed story here, guys. We are red for the S&P. You can see we just uh, went back in. Two negative territory there at the end of the day, point one. Uh, the other direction for the Dow, point two, about point three for the NASDAQ. But uh, not a bad day if you're uh, in an energy investor, two and a half percent still for crude oil and cryptos yeah they're red too but not big moves when it comes to cryptocurrencies guys yeah yeah not, not really and just just to, to talk about tkt did open back up and it is pressing on the highs of the day i mean it got to 2250 now back at 21 so as we said it would open at 12 at four and then you get a post market trading so there's always a way out even in those holes the best production team in the business. Give yourselves a uh, applause there if you have that shot. Thank you to Maggie. Thank you to Lucas. And thank you to Rob, who God knows where he is, uh, probably doing something or trying to be busy. We'll figure that out uh, afterwards. Thank you, guys. Look, it's been a big, huge show. Uh, we're going to run this after, so we've got to let you go. Stay tuned for the trade of the day. Uh, we'll talk about Neil. We'll talk about everything. But for we normally have, like, a triple box or something going on here. But I'm going to say, uh, regardless... Thank you to Neil. Thank you to Brendan. And thank you. There we go. And thank you to Miss V. The back of your head never looked any better. We will be back tomorrow. Stay tuned for the trade of the day. We'll see you at 830. Good luck to Zooms. Trades, long, short, whatever you are. Ciao. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.